What's up, everybody? My name is Lee Hua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host the podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Dungeon of Black Company, and if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload, and if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Dungeon of Black Company episode 10. Last episode, it was kind of odd. We ran into like a undead mage who was betrayed by a hero. And, you know, Mia reminded the mage of that bad hero. And then we ran into a store. And then, you know, Mia showcase how much she can market and then it ended the episode with them going to the next floor and it looks like a forest this is a freaking forest land in the dungeon so it's like whoa okay um this magic here just did like a whole like time space thing going on now the thing is what's there because it's supposed to be difficult on this floor. So we're going to find out how they're going to handle this. Okay, we see some water. Rim, what up, girl? Oh, that's her sister. Oh, look at that. It's before she became a demon lord. But why is she saying, why is she saying that it hurts? Like, is the magic circulation hurting? Oh. You know what would be interesting if that gun absorbs the mana of the monsters. How about that? Dinosaurs. E Rex. This is really giving me. Is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon vibes? You know that safe dungeon? I mean, that safe floor? This is what it's reminding me of. New dungeon paradise. Oh, you're trapped. Well, that's what they said before. But can't you, like, take out that rubble? Especially you, Ranga. Can't you use your magic? Yes, tell us what happened on the fifth floor. Uh huh. Bodyguards taking the big monsters. That's a good one. What? What do you mean, probably? Two large monsters at the front gate. I wonder if these monsters are like guardians. Did they say how many floors there are? The dungeon is changing because Rim's not the guardian anymore.
I think this support group is shady. They're a bit too accommodating in in my opinion. You take them on. Ooh, the little wolf like ones. Got the T Rexes. Yo, is there ants? What up? Whoa, is that the ant queen? And isn't that the demon lord Rim's sister? <laughs> he thinks that's his kid. Do you legally recognize your offspring? Queen Ant. Queen Ant, Queen Ant, yes! I wondered about that because Rim and her sister have human forms. I was wondering if the Ant Queen could do that. You're calling her Majin too? He doesn't even have a name yet. Give her a name. Oh, so they acknowledge what Rim is, or was. Oh. <laughs> it makes sense if number two was made abruptly it wasn't fully formed so it's a bit weak right now Rim you better take care of your little sister How is Ninomi supposed to save her? He's a human. He's a Majin. That's connected to the dungeon. I'm just saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, is she gonna feed her sister? She like eat. Oh, she don't want anything from you. She's in this predicament because of you, Rim. He doesn't like you at all. Oh, she's like a baby.
Is Rem's motherly instincts kicking in? Oh, I'm surprised she's feeling guilty. Oh, she's developing more compassion. Quite a development. You must cut down on your food costs. Oh. Yes, you can. If you help Manja number two, you fix the circulation. You fix the circulation, you fix whatever's going on. Oh. Uh. Are you going to rebuild the dungeon oh i don't like oh 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 if you heard this you would hear the little creature squealing oh they sound so pathetic it's sad what is going on whoa Rebuilding project. What else are you going to do? She's one angry little monster. I think she's betraying the cranky baby very well. I like how Rim's talking a lot. It's giving her more personality. That ice just melted.
Are you going to create an avalanche? <laughs> Bear Mose. Rampant spreading of the forest. What's wrong with the forest growing? <laughs> Rim is still naked under there. I guess she wears that new coat that Ranga got her outside the dungeon, and she wears that in the dungeon. I feel like Ninomiya is fooling around because how does he know these things? I think he's messing with everyone. Look, this is getting worse. I think Ninomiya is making it worse. Gonna spit it out now. No, she took it in. She she kept it in. She kept it in. Drain the pond. Wouldn't that make it worse? But didn't you cause something by making the slimes get bigger? Oh dear. Ooh. It's a crab! Get him, get him. Oh, she's better now. She's not so cranky. Oh, she seems nice and cute. Oh, she's so cute. Ooh, she's possessive now. She's like my sister. Yes, give her a proper name.
Sora. Oh, cute. Aww. Oh, she developed speaking a lot faster than Rim did. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, something happening to the dungeon. Ryza has doing something shady. Are they blowing up the dungeon? Oh, there's more than two? Oh, dear. And that's my reaction to Dungeon of Black Company, episode 10. I was not expecting for this to feature Sora so much. I like it. And we got to see more of Rim. We got to see her develop, talk more, build some personality, compassion. Oh, I like this episode. What did you think about it? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash a host of Rufina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to podcasts is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is a Super Rufina channel reacting to Dungeon of Black Company, episode 10. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!